Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I actually went to three Dollar Trees in my area after work this evening. Um, I picked up a few random things. Most of them were things that we've all seen before. I did come across a couple of things I haven't seen before. And I just picked up some random odds and ends. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. Um, I had hauled a roller cutter a few months ago and for the life of me, I have no idea where I put it. I've looked everywhere, so I went ahead and picked up another one for a dollar. What the heck, you know? <laughs> so I picked up another roller cutter. And of course, now that I've bought another one, I'll probably find the first one that I bought. I picked up some mechanical pencils. Now, the reason I picked these up is oftentimes I am the kind of person that will like mark things on my paper where I need to cut it with like a pen. And I thought, you know, and I better stop doing that because sometimes you can't get the pen mark off or I, I cut it and it still has a pen mark on like the part that I, I'm going to be crafting on. So I just figured I'd pick up some pencils and I can just erase the mark that I need. So I thought these ones were pretty and you get four of them for a dollar. Um, the prices have not gone up in my area as of yet. Um, now this is actually something new that I found that I haven't seen before and these are these little sticker books. You get 80 stickers for a dollar and I thought these would be cute for um, putting on the back of my Christmas cards. Um, like when I seal it up, just to throw a little sticker on there. So I'm not a huge fan of these ones, but um, it's in the pack obviously. So I got those, it comes with those. Um, I like these kinds of stickers. I like to just throw on the back of my, um, on the back of my, uh, the, like the part where you seal the envelope. So um, just something to add a little bit of fun to the card. Um, so I got this, so it has these, some, some of these basically the same images just on different colored um, backgrounds. Some of them are a little slightly different, but they're really cute. So those are in this one. This was the little Santa one. And then I saw this one too. It's a little gingerbread um, pack. So this one has, again, those little holographic ones, some little different images. I thought, I just thought these were cute and I could probably put them on boxes and things as I send out happy mail. Um, I'm almost done with my Christmas swaps, but whatever. I can always use them again next year, too, for a dollar. I thought these were cute. So, yeah, and again, you get um, 80 stickers in this one, too. They have some other ones, but I didn't like those. Uh, I picked up some of these little containers. I haven't bought these ones before. I've, obviously, they've been around forever, but these are perfect for, like, sequin mixes. And I thought what I could do is also um, share, like, seed beads and things like that in these tiny little containers because the lid does snap on. I obviously do use the glass containers as well, but I just thought that these would be nice to have on hand for just a different type of container. Um... In addition to those retractable pencils or the mechanical pencils, I picked up this retractable, retractable eraser, which um, in the event that these erasers aren't any good, I would have an eraser to erase the pencil mark. So that's that. Um, I picked up a couple of fun pens just for my little pen collection. I have a cup that I have on my shelf uh, across from my desk, which eventually you guys will see. I'm going to hopefully be doing a craft room tour sometime in early 2022. Uh, once I get through my Christmas crafting, um, I have a swap that I signed up for with Tony. And um, once I get that completed, I want to um, go through every container, uh, all of my little bins that I have. I want to do another D stash of some collections. Um, so all of that, you guys will eventually see a craft room tour, but I digress. The reason I mention this is because you'll eventually see the cup that I have where all, I keep all of my little novelty pens and the couple of wands. I don't have very many wands, but the couple of wands that people have made for me are also in the same cup. But anyways, I got these pens to throw in that little cup for my um, novelty pen collection. This one is super, super soft and it has a little pink princess crown on it. And then I got the white one with the cloud. And again, these are so soft. Love these. Um, while I was checking out, I saw these and I just thought this would be nice to snack on while I'm crafting. So that'll be eaten sometime shortly. <laughs> um, I picked up some of this blue crepe paper, this sort of like navy blue or uh, I thought, I don't think I have this color in my crepe paper collection and 
I thought this color would come in handy for um, maybe like a winter project or um, maybe summertime even for like red, white, and blue for uh, 4th of July. So I picked up that since I haven't seen this color, um, this specific color blue before. I picked up some of these gift sacks in this really pretty purple color. The reason I got these is because I'm going to start my crafting with the Freeland Frosty collection uh, here soon. And I thought I could package up some goodies in these little purple gift sacks as I'm playing with that collection since it does have a lot of purple in it. All right, now I'm going to show you um, some more stickers. I found these little sticker books. I think I've seen these before, but I never really flipped through them. And I thought these were so cute. And I mean, I just love stickers. I'm a child of, I mean, I'm almost 45, but I am a child that grew up in the 80s. I collected stickers when I was a kid. We had like giant sticker books and things like that. And um, this is just very reminiscent of my childhood. <laughs> so I picked up these stickers because I thought they were super cute and um, I'll probably never use them, but for a dollar, you get 250 stickers, and some of them are kind of like 80s themed, like um, just really fun little designs, and I just really liked them, so I bought them. Uh, so I like this first page especially a lot. It's really, really cute. This one is not, not, not really my cup of tea. This is like just little superheroes. I mean, it's cute, but not really my thing. The little sloth is cute. Um, I like the little cat mug cat cat Pacino. that's really cute so yeah some of these are totally up my alley some of them not so much but for two for a dollar i thought these were cute i love the little pink roller skate of course the little 90s best hits yeah so they're cute these ones are cute if you do like a little mermaid theme which i haven't done in forever but who knows some little pizza and the little lips are cute yeah so Again, you know, some more mermaids. I like the little fruit on these ones. Little, um, like, lollipops and popsicles. A little, like, rainbow ice cream cone. The rainbow poop unicorn. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they're just fun. And this one, the, the cactus, of course, got me. I love the little roller skate again. The little camera's super cute. So, yeah, these are really adorable. And I just wanted to uh, just go ahead and pick them up for my sticker collection. And then they also had another one that I thought was cute. Again, you get 250, so I'll show you these as well. Again, some of them were really up my alley, some of them not so much. I like that roller, or that little high top there. Love the little orange kitty because my cat is orange. So yeah, these are just so cute. And some of them are kind of repetitive of some of the other uh, or the other sticker book but this one has little puppies that looks like a little corgi corgis are my favorite dogs i don't have one but i love them i think they're adorable i love their fluffy little butts <laughs> and then of course the cats i love cats meow i love these these are just really cute and that's the last of oh no there's one more sheet with the little unicorns and whales little narwhal and the cover is super thick on these so all right so those are the little sticker books I got and I did pick up one for a friend which I'm not going to show you um I got this really cute little cactus notebook now I've got notebooks out the wazoo to keep notes on here in my craft room but I do go through them over, over time so I picked this one up to have to um, write down like little measurements of things or if I want to write down like who I'm swapping with I just thought this one was super super cute totally up my alley of course and then I also got this notebook with the cactus on it. Um, I believe it actually, so let's see, I'm gonna open this one real quick. Yeah, the, the cactus actually Velcros the notebook closed and it's just lined paper. So again, I think that's super cute. And it's nice to, for me, to keep track of my swaps, especially lately because I've been getting um, so many people contacting me about doing swaps, so I just want to make sure I'm keeping them all um, written down so I don't forget. And then I got this notebook because awesome is a word I say all the time. Again, I grew up in the 80s. Awesome was like a super popular word, and it's just like 
my favorite word to use to describe something cool or fun. So always awesome. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> and then again, it's just lined paper. So again, notebooks, I have a ton of them, but I, I do use them. So, and then the last thing I got, um, before I show you the ribbon, because I <laughs> yet again, bought a lot of ribbon. Uh, I found this really cute little, um, purple unicorn box. Now I have never seen these before and it's just all one big box. It's probably like a pencil case kind of thing, but it does snap closed. Um, what I thought this would be cute for, and I did pick up a couple of them, was would be the um, Feel and Frosty collection. I thought maybe I can embellish um, the front and the, and the inside to cover up the unicorn design. Not that the unicorn design isn't cute, but if I do a Feel and Frosty um, box, I thought this would be perfect because it's purple. So I picked up like two or three of those um, to alter. All right, and now I'm going to show you the ribbon because, again... I am a ribbon junkie and this is a problem for me. <laughs> I can't help myself. I literally cannot help myself. It's you guys can start yelling at me in the comments down below like, hey, you have enough ribbon. Stop buying ribbon. <laughs> um, but I probably won't because I love it. And now I don't know where my scissors are. Okay, so we have this one here. Oh, of course, the package just comes right apart. Um, this one I thought was really pretty. I picked up, these are mostly like Christmassy colors. They had some of their like their brand and then they have some of that Offre brand, which I think comes from like, I think they sell it at Joann's and, and Walmart maybe. Um, this is just like the Dollar Tree one. Um, but I thought this was pretty because... It's sort of like Rick Rack, but not. Um, and for a dollar, this is such nice ribbon. And this is perfect for Christmas or Valentine's Day. So I got one of these. I got this really pretty green and white gingham print, which obviously I can use for Christmas or St. Patrick's Day. Um, I got this pretty, I had hauled one last week. In fact, it's sitting on my desk, this red one. And I think I mentioned that I thought I got it at Dollar Tree and then I was like, no, no, I got it somewhere else. But no, I did in fact get it at Dollar Tree. This red sequined trim that I hauled last week. Well, I did find the green one today. So I went ahead and picked it up because Dollar Tree is really stepping up their game with some of their trim. Like this is really nice trim. It's got sequins and like a um, an outer edging to it. Uh, again, I can use this for Christmas or I can save it for St. Patrick's Day, which I do St. Patrick's Day crafting because green's my favorite color ever. Uh, I got this really pretty like dark green. It's almost like an olivey green with like white stitching detail. I thought I could pack this away with my fall crafting because it's not really like a Christmas green. It's more of like a fall green to me. Um, I picked up this ribbon. This is a beaut, and this is the Offray brand, so this is like a nicer ribbon. It's got the really pretty little snowflakes, so obviously I can use it for maybe feeling frosty or just a winter theme project. This one is also the Offray brand. I got this white with the green Christmas trees. Super, super cute. This one is the Dollar Tree brand again. This is a satin ribbon with these little gold foiled um like flowers almost like a like a sweater pattern this is so pretty and this ribbon is so nice i mean i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about but some of the ribbon at dollar tree looks super super cheap and like just ugly this is really really nice um and it's like the the print on it is beautiful and perfect sometimes you you look at them and they're like off center or they're like crooked or um, it's printed over the edge so the design's not all the way on there, but this is perfect. It's so pretty, and I thought this would just be so nice for just, like, packaging. So, um, I picked up this one, and of course the little sticker won't come off. And then I just got a plain, and this is the Offre brand again. I got a plain red and a plain green, just in Christmas color. So again, Valentine's Day I can use it for, St. Patrick's Day I can use it for. So this is not just for Christmas. So, um, that is my little Dollar Tree haul for today. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.